back to the Supes channel. My name is Matt Ramos, and on this channel, I am to entertain, inform, and inspire using the topic of discussion, as always, which is superheroes. Guys, you know what day it is. It's Falcon and the Winter Soldier Friday, and oh my gosh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier Episode 5 was just... I love this episode so damn much. There's so much to break down. There's so much to get into, and... The, to me, honestly, this was by far the best episode. This is my personal favorite episode. And we'll get into breaking down my favorite moments and things that Marvel really set up because Marvel did a ton of things in this episode that are going to be set up and the, it's laying the foundation for the future of the MCU. So right before we get into breaking down this episode, guys, make, make sure to hit that subscribe and hit that notification on my channel to get notified when these videos come out. So let's talk about the opening of this episode, which is exactly what we were all looking forward to. Sam and Bucky versus John Walker and man oh man this fight did not disappoint you know I one of my biggest worries in going into this fight was that they were going to nerf Bucky because Bucky and Captain America the Winter Soldier almost took out Cap I mean some would argue that he beat Cap in, in, a, in a certain way but it didn't feel like Bucky was nerfed in this fight John Walker was putting up a fight and he was fighting to kill Bucky and Sam and it really showed he took them out in very clever ways where he he knocked back Bucky Bucky got electrocuted and then it was a one-on-one -on -one versus him and Sam he ripped off Sam's wings and it was just this was one of the most gruesome bloody fights I've ever seen in MCU if not the most gruesome and bloody John Walker got his arm broken in a, just a, in a disgusting fashion I cringed when I saw it and Bucky was spitting out blood. It was it was a it was a dog fight, and I loved seeing it. It did not disappoint. And man, this is exactly what we've been waiting for to finally see John Walker get his teeth smashed in. And that's exactly what Bucky and Sam did. But he also did put up a great fight. Now after this fight, Sam has a broken Falcon suit, and we see Sam having this confrontation with Torres. And it feels like Torres has been absent these past couple of episodes. Like Marvel just. Forgot about him, but Joaquin Torres is back and Sam actually referred to him as Joaquin Torres for the first time in this episode. Throughout the entire show, he's been calling him Torres, but in this episode, he referred to him by his first name for the first time, which is Joaquin Torres, who in the comics, when Sam becomes Captain America, he becomes Falcon. So it looks like Torres is going to become Falcon, and they set that up in this episode when Sam leaves with the Captain America shield and leaves the broken Falcon suit for Torres and says keep it so guys Torres Joaquin Torres is coming to the MCU as the and it's going to become the new Falcon once Sam becomes Captain America which we will get into later on in this video after this we're taken to this brilliant courtroom scene featuring John Walker who's being held accountable on trial for for the GRC who are just holding him accountable for the things he's done now John isn't Captain America anymore and the, the government is basically throwing him to the kicking him to the curb as they should for because of the things he's done and John Walker in this scene is biting back he's speaking up for himself and this was such a brilliantly acted scene by Wyatt Russell I think this was his best acted episode and uh, he just he absolutely crushed this scene and this leads into the mystery cameo of the episode so let's talk about the mystery cameo in episode 5 of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier so the mystery cameo in this episode was from a Marvel Comics character called Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. And this was a character that no one expected to make an appearance in this show. You know, when, it, when we heard mystery cameo and then Malcolm Spellman also said that this mystery character, he would love to see this character partnered with Thor. And even after watching this episode, I don't understand how we would want to see Valentina partnered with Thor. I don't understand how that would be an interaction that we would want to see. But anyways, Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. A ton of people aren't familiar with this character because she isn't really a popular Marvel Comics character. But in Marvel Comics, she debuted as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. And throughout her entire comics run, she's had this on and off relationship with Nick Fury. And her most notable story, I guess, was during the Secret Invasion storyline. During the Secret Invasion storyline, it was actually revealed that she was working for Hydra and she adopted the identity Madam Hydra. So because her character has such huge ties to Nick Fury and the Secret Invasion storyline, I feel like it's not too far-fetched to assume that she's going to be in the Secret Invasion Disney Plus series that's coming next year. And it's very interesting because after the episode was released, a report was released by Vanity Fair saying that Marvel has big plans for this character. So we are going to see Valentina Allegra de Fontaine appear in multiple Marvel projects. And the original plan was to have her first debut in the Black Widow movie. However, due to the pandemic, 
that ended up getting scrapped and now she just debuted in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But it's going to be very interesting because Marvel's teeing up this character to appear in multiple projects and Madam Hydra, she, she, she's, she's going to be one of those people pulling the strings behind the scenes of all of these different projects and movies and shows. And I'm just very curious to see what Marvel has in store for her character moving forward. In this episode, we also got the conclusion to Baron Zemo's story in the show. Baron Zemo's story concluded in this brilliant scene that we've seen in a couple of different trailers of him looking at the memorial in Sokovia of his family. Bucky approaches him and then the door Malage walk in to take Zemo away. But it's very interesting because the door didn't say, no, we're going to take him back to Wakanda and put him in a Wakandan prison. No, they said, we're going to take him back to the raft. And I think this sets up the post credit scene for the final episode of this show. And I, I have been, I have said this before the show even came out, but I think the post credit, the final post credit scene for the show is going to be Thunderbolt Ross approaching Bar Baron Zemo for the Thunderbolts. And who runs the raft? Yeah, Thunderbolt Ross. So Zemo is going to a raft prison where Thunderbolt Ross is the head of that pr prison. And I think it just, it, it just leads into the fact that Marvel is diving deep and they're going to set up the Thunderbolts down the line. And before going into this episode, one of the things we were told is that this episode was going to make us cry. And I know a ton of you guys didn't cry, but one of the scenes that definitely got me teary-eyed was when Sam was having that powerful conversation with Isaiah Bradley. And Isaiah was just opening up, telling Sam like everything that he really went through being the first African-American super soldier. And talking about how he, was, how he was imprisoned and he was experimented on. And just speaking on the mantle of what it means to be Captain America. and. You know, it, it, I don't, I don't blame Sam, uh, I don't blame Isaiah for feeling the way he felt about the mantle of Captain America because he felt animosity towards it. He felt that, like you know, he felt that he was just he has so much anger and resentment towards the world, and rightfully so after everything he went through. After Sam has that conversation with Isaiah, we head back to Louisiana where we get some team bonding with Bucky and Sam. They're both working on Sam's boats and seeing both Bucky and Sam as regular human beings just talking to each other. As not as not as superheroes on, on missions, but just as regular people doing regular things, bonding, talking to each other. It was so awesome to watch. I couldn't get enough of it. And my favorite scene of this entire episode, of course, uh, that, that opening fight scene was amazing, but my favorite scene of this entire episode by far was the scene where Bucky and Sam were talking and Bucky, Bucky was apologizing and opening up to Sam about his struggles with mental health and PTSD and the nightmares he's been having and then Sam responded giving him advice and Sam was talking to him in a very similar way to the way he was talking to Carly. He was using those tactics that he used when he used to help soldiers with PTSD back in the day when he ran that like therapy group and Man, nothing, nothing screams Captain America more than this scene right here. Sam helping Bucky, telling Bucky how he can kind of just free himself from those nightmares. And he's giving him like that tough love advice. He's not telling him what, he's not telling Bucky what he wants to hear. He's telling Bucky what he needs to hear. And that is just, it was such a powerful scene. And it just, it deepens my appreciation for Sam Wilson now that he's becoming Captain America. And that's exactly what we got to see in this episode. We got to see the training montage of Sam training with the shield, learning how to throw it around, bounce it off different things, catching it, getting in shape, running, just doing push-ups. He was getting in shape to be Captain America because he knows what he has to become. He knows he has to take on this mantle. And the episode ends with him opening up a Wakandan briefcase courtesy of Shuri. And in that briefcase is his new Captain America suit that we will see debuted in the next episode. Now, speaking of next episode, because it's going to be insane. The Flag Smashers are now in New York. They have teamed up with Batroc and Sharon Carter, who's still one of the biggest mysteries of this entire show, is the one who broke Batroc the Leaper out of jail. So now he's working with the Flag Smashers. Again, we don't know what's really going on with Sharon Carter and her, her role in this show. But we do know that the Flag Smashers are in New York. Batroc is in New York. And John Walker is going to be going to New York because in, in the mid credit scene of this episode, we got to see John Walker constructing his own shield and he's prepping up for battle because he's going to come back into the swing of things. And even though the government isn't, isn't supporting John Walker anymore, he's, he's saying, screw it. Fine. I'll do it myself. And this fight, this, this episode did such a great job in setting up the finale because now in this finale, it's all going down in New York, the Flag Smashers, Batroc, John Walker. Bucky, Sam, it's all going down and I cannot be more excited to see how it all ends next week. Sam is going to be rocking his new Captain America suit 
and I just cannot wait to see that thing because I can I can guarantee you guys it's gonna be one of the best suits in the entire MCU. But with that being said, let me know what you guys thought of this most recent episode for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I thought it was the best episode by far, and it, it, it took me by surprise because I thought we weren't stopping, the story wasn't slowing down, it was just amping up and it was just getting crazier and crazier. But in this step, Marvel took a step back and really did this, the individual stories for both Bucky and Sam justice. Sam and his story of, you know, kind of addressing the racial inequalities, Bucky and his story addressing mental health. They did such a great job in, in kind of hitting the brakes and really giving these sto and really doing these individual stories justice. So I cannot be more excited to see how it all goes down next week because this episode did a great job in setting up this final episode, which is going to be pandemonium and i look forward to seeing all of you guys on next week's watch party which is going to be our final watch party for falcon and the winter soldier with that being said let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comment section down below if you're new to this channel and like this video please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification on my channel to get notified when these videos come out thank you guys for watching this video i love you guys 3000 and i'll see you guys next time